Okay, this is where the fun begins because you're going to take your background graphics that you have designed and you're going to apply it to other applications. So with the selection tool, you will grab your arrow, click on the background and drag so that you are dragging it over all the imagery to select it and you will go control C to copy it. Then you'll go to your 10 VCD packaging net template. On the first page, you'll see what a packaging net looks like. So this is the front of the packaging net. The broken lines represent fold lines and then you've got the back of the packaging net. The solid lines represent cut lines. So that's probably where the barcode may go on the back. You could also put it smaller on the side. That's up to you with your design. So we'll move on to the next page. This page you're going to use is your positional. So if this artwork was being sent out to a printer, we would remove the glue tab and we would remove the black outline, but we would keep the um, solid lines on the outside, which represent the cut lines and the fold lines so that they won't get printed onto the document. So we're going to do Control-V. Now you can see that um, the scale is a bit different. So holding the shift key down, dragging it down so that you do keep it a consistent scale and proportion to all your um, imagery that you're creating for any products that you do. Now, I only want to have the background square repeated once. So Control Shift G to ungroup if you have it grouped. And I'm going to select this box and I'm going to drag it so it covers the entire product. Click on the background to deselect it. With the selection tool, drag to select all my shapes again, but then hold down the shift key, click on the background to deselect the background. So then I just have that selected. Now I'm going to start dragging my selection and right after I start dragging, I hold down the alt key, which is the duplicate and the shift key, which duplicates it and shifts it along the same axis. So I'm going to place it there. And I'm going to do the same process again. Start moving then Alt, that duplicates it. I don't want to copy and paste. I want to have it exactly the same axis. So Alt and Shift to start moving it. Okay, that's fine that it's overhanging over there. Now I'm going to get my logo and I will center it on the front. I can resize it if I want to. I can even recolor it and you know how to do that. You can see I can only see the blue outline. That's because it's sitting behind the graphics. So while it's selected, I go Object, Arrange, Ring to Front. There we go. Barcode, I'm going to place on the back tab. Okay, there we have it. And um, I'll show you the next step next. 